Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Being Guru Electrical Channel. This is Majib Raza with you with a new topic in the PLC programming course. Today we will see types of proximity sensor. So before going to start the video, if you are new in the channel, so hit the subscribe button and turn on notification by clicking the bell icon. So there are two types of uh, proximity sensor. One is inductive sensors and other is capacitive sensors. So in this video, we will see uh, the types, what are the differences in the uh, inductive and the capacitive sensors what are the applications of the of the inductive sensor and what are the application of uh, capacitive sensor then we will see the comparison between the capacitive and inductive sensor so watch the video till the end now let's start so the first one is inductive sensor so inductive sensor are used for the detection of uh, metallic objects so if there's any metallic objects in uh, nearby the inductive sensor so this sensor uh, have the magnetic field around it so if there is any metallic object nearby so there due to this metallic object there is change in the magnetic field this change of uh, induction allow inductive, inductive sensor to sense that object so this is how it operates in the image you can see the inductive sensors this is the proximity sensor inductive type then we have some application so inductive sensor are widely used in the elevator systems uh, to detect the story floors it is also used in the conveyor belt operation to check for the specific location or in, at, in the conveyor it is used as a car wash installation to determine the starting and ending point. It is used in the overhead cranes to determine the start and end point. It is used in the encoder to detect metal strips in order to determine its position. Inductive sensor also used in the position control of valves in the food industries and it is also used in the position detection of mechanically moving objects. So these are some uh, basic application of uh, inductive sensors. So now let's move towards capacitive sensor. So capacitive sensor uh, can detect both metallic and non-conductive materials. So non-conductive materials include solids and uh, liquids. So how it operates? So the operation uh, philosophy of the capacitive sensor is like it emit electric field. So if there's any object nearby, so this electric field is affect some changes. So these changes are detected by the capacitive sensor so that's how it operates and that's how that's how it operates and changes output so this is the capacitive sensor uh, which is uh, like this is the capacitive proximity sensor now some application so capacitive sensors are normally used in the level monitoring of liquids it's also used in the filling uh, water filling industries and it is also used for non-metallic object detection on conveyor. So if you have any uh, conveyor and you want to detect some non-metallic object for counting or any other purpose, so you can use capacitive sensor. And if you want to use the metallic object, you, know, you want to count the metallic object, so you can use inductive sensor. Now let's see some comparison between both uh, sensors. So for the detection, inductive sensor only detect metals, while capacitive detect li liquids, metals, and solids. And detection, detection range for the inductive sensor is 0.8 to 100 mm and while the capacitive is 2 to 50 mm. Both are non-contactless. Sensitivity is good for both. Robustness uh, very good for both inductive and capacitive. Accuracy very good for inductive and there's some fast struggling possible in the capacitive sensors. Switching frequency is higher for inductive and lower for capacitive. So this is for the proximity sensors. I hope you like the video. If you like, like and share and uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.